Join the battle to defend science. Get your copy of my book today. Topics include evolution, the Big Bang, Flat Earth, Young Earth Creationism, and more. If you don't debate and just want to learn science, the book is also perfect for you. Check the link in the description or go to bookbaby.com and check out their bookshop. Kindle readers can also get the book on Amazon. I need to tell you about my week. There are a lot of videos and a lot of things I've been meaning to get to, but I had to put it all off because of how insane Monday and Tuesday were. I had a court date on Monday. This is a story I've told on TikTok, but not here on YouTube. I sued my ex-landlord, is a property management company technically, because they were trying to keep hundreds of dollars of my security deposit for completely bogus things. They charged me to have a satellite dish that had been on that house since at least 2011 taken off. You can see on Google Maps, if you do like the time machine, you can go and see that it's been on there for that long. And uh, there's a doggy door in the house and it was boarded up with board and screws and caulk. They don't even allow pets. So I was like, okay, that makes perfect sense. They were charging me to like make that functional again, but they still don't allow pets. So A, I didn't do it, and B, why on earth are you charging me to have a functional doggy door when you don't allow pets? It was so, and there was a lot of other stuff too, and you wouldn't believe how condescending and rude they were. It's a long story, I won't bore you with it. I did a little digging and I found out that they were actually breaking the law, not because they were charging me for stuff that had nothing to do with me, although that's probably illegal, but they didn't send the receipts or the partial security deposit back to me until 47 days after I moved out. The law is you have to do it in 21 days. So I, I tried to get them to just do the right thing, but because they were so toxic, I said, okay, I will see you in court. Monday rolls around. I show up to the courthouse at one o'clock. We're like the last group that has to go. It's just civil court. There's no lawyers or anything involved. It's taking forever because you have to meet with a mediator before you go in front of the judge to see if you can work out a, a deal to see if you can settle. And the other groups are just taking so long. Well, as I'm sitting there waiting, I get a text from my wife. She's being taken to the emergency room. I knew it wasn't life-threatening or anything like that, so I just decided I'm going to stay because I knew I was getting up pretty soon and then I'll see if I can just settle rather than arguing the case in front of the judge. We ended up settling for like two thirds of what I was asking for, which ended up meaning I got like 90 or 95% of the security deposit back. So I call it a win. I get to the ER at about 4.30 PM. My wife is in there in a lot of pain. It takes hours and hours and hours. Eventually I left to get food and I came back and the security was like, yeah, we're not letting people in. What? So I was not allowed to go in there and even sit with her. So that was fun. Long story short with that, she had her gallbladder taken out the next morning. So lots more time in the hospital the next day. So now it's Tuesday, we come home and it's already been very hectic. And then at like 9 p.m. on Tuesday, I felt an earthquake. I went on the website to see where it was. It was outside of Bakersfield. And then all of a sudden I saw another one and another one and another one. There ended up being 277 earthquakes just outside of Bakersfield in like a 12 hour period. <laughs> it was nuts. So I was thinking, are these four shocks leading up to a big one or is it just some random weird cluster of earthquakes? Turns out earthquake swarms, as they're called, they're not super common, but they do happen. Honestly, I have a lot more to tell you, but um, it'll just go into some separate videos that I'll be making soon. One quick note before we get started, this shirt is specifically designed to confuse German U-boats and it costs $16 million. And so I will not hear any of you peasants making fun of my shirt. Candace Owens, she might be an actual idiot. 
this video is not going to be about her politics. I may make a few passing comments about it, but it, it's not about her stance on like BLM and being red pilled and the hypocrisy because she sued her high school or her college like for being racist or something like that and then turned into like a hardcore right winger. She just very famously has had all these anti-scientific gaffes. It all started with Joe Rogan six years ago. We'll go over just some of the highlights to this. But she's been doing some stuff lately that's... I, it's just so dumb. I'm actually going to give you my theory about Candace Owens right away. And just have this in mind as we look at everything. I think that Candace Owens is an ironic sheep. What do I mean by that? It's very popular in, like the right-wing political atmosphere and the sort of like culturally conservative atmosphere to hear people say things like like they accuse people on the left, people that vote Democrat, people that follow the science as being sheep, right? You just do whatever the government tells you. You just believe whatever big science tells you. Again, people who are political and apolitical make those arguments for different reasons. Somebody like a Candace Owens or a Ben Shapiro would say like the left relies on the government as it's like nanny state and they just believe whatever people like, I don't know, Fauci or or Joe Biden says, whatever. And then the flat earthers and the young earth creationists to do this with science as well. Candace Owens is an example of somebody who just does whatever the opposite of what science or the government says. She is a sheep. She is completely controlled by the government. She's the opposite of, if all of your friends jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? She's, if Biden came out with an executive order not to jump off of a bridge, she would do it. I don't think she's trying to rage bait. I do think that she's kind of a moron. She says things every now and then that I agree with. There are a lot of people who are just trying to be sensationalists to try to get popular. I think Tim Pool kind of is one of those people. Milo famously was, I mean, he maybe believed some of the stuff he said, but he was really just literally trying to troll all the time. But Candace, and if you pay attention, I think you'll see this in a lot of other people too. They, they're just ironic sheep. I never heard of her before this, and this was six years ago. This is uh, May 31st, 2018, long time ago. This was, as far as I'm concerned, people in her circle knew her, but the public didn't really know her until, <laughs> until this. Losing, and Donald Trump understood that in, in a way that I didn't, and you don't I thought- think we have to care about the environment? Like, what no, do you no, not even a little bit. Like, no. Not even a little bit? No, do you, um, okay, let me- I mean, like, just the condescending sneering and stuff like that. D to me, it just says somebody, like, you could see that and, like, try to think she's just trying to be edgy or something. But she's just, it's it's just stupidity and a, a blind, what do you call this? She's not blindly following. She's just being blindly antithetical. I think that's what you would call it. Let me clarify this. I don't throw trash on the ground. Like okay. I'm, I'm not saying like we need to like, you know, trash the environment. Like, um, but do I believe in climate change? No. You don't believe in climate change? Well, I think the climate always changes, I guess is what I should say. Do I believe that this is like, you know, an issue that... Um, is being that, that is fake. global warming which they've changed conveniently they got rid of the word once scientists started disproving it now they only say client climate change no they haven't disproved it at all i mean the bottom line is yes the climate does change there are causes behind the climate changing and human activity is one of the causes funny enough i actually just finished this book not that long ago it's called unsettled by Stephen Coonan, he was Barack Obama's science. I don't know if he was his science advisor or his climate advisor. I think he was his science advisor because John Holdren was his climate advisor. And in the book, he goes over um, how he he definitively says human activity has a definite effect on the warming that we've been seeing in the 20th and 21st century. But the thing is, he says, we just cannot say very precisely how much it is because the climate models we produce, one of the biggest problems with them is there was a period during the Dust Bowl, the 30s and 40s, where there was this pretty crazy 
warming anomaly. And the models we create, they can be pretty accurate to what's been going on the last several decades, but they fail to they fail to model the climate in the 30s and 40s, which also got warmer. And like, there's so many weird things. Like, the more variables we add, the more we learn about how like the porosity of the soil, for crying out loud, affects the ability of the atmosphere to absorb and retain heat. The more we add those things, the less accurate our models get. It, it's a very weird thing. And he goes over how the media has significantly misrepresented certain things. For example, there's something in there about how you see all these headlines about like daily high records for temperatures keep getting shattered. But what it really was, was the ratio of cold temperatures and high temperatures keeps growing in favor of the high temperatures. It's actually not hotter than it was in the 21st, like the maximum temperatures aren't as high now as they were like in the early 20th century. But the, um, the, the coldest temperatures are the, the, how do I say this? The record for coldest temperatures is higher. Now that unequivocally means that the planet is getting warmer, just not in the way that they're saying. Um, no, I, I think that that was just a way to extract dollars from Americans. I don't at all believe they had no actionable plan. It was great for Trump to get out of that deal. It was terrible. Okay, but this is an incredibly complicated subject. Because th that means it's one of the subjects that I had earlier today with um, uh, Dr. Robert Schock. A what Joe does a really great job here a few times, I'll just play a couple of the clips, is he says, he keeps saying to her, why do you have such a strong opinion if you don't know? Because she backtracks whenever he tries to ask her questions about it and pulls up some evidence. But then there's this part. This part 2014, so the vast majority, 87% of scientists said that human activity is driving global warming, yet only half the American public, public ascribed to that view. So well, what website is 87%, this? 87%, and this is... Scientific American. Yeah. Yeah, dot .com, though. Like, cause it, that, that means it's it's making money. I don't trust that. If it was a dot .org, I would probably take that. But that this is just a random website, and well, I, I don't trust Well, Scientific American is not necessarily a random website. It's, yeah, I don't... I don't believe this like at all just so you know so there you go there's the deliberate deliberately being antithetical for really no reason well i mean i i guess i shouldn't say no reason because because it's a dot com but which is just so incredibly stupid the because it's coming from this source she just simply will not believe it i guess that's not exactly the same thing as saying it's false but it's still, it's just so pathetic. Right. You don't believe it like at all? <laughs> I, I genuinely, I genuinely don't believe it. I know you do, but I genuinely well, don't believe it. I like, believe most of the time the consensus of scientists that are studying the data. Right. And so what they're doing is But do you remember all of the stories that came out about the scientists that said that when they tried to present their evidence to show, like they were basically just getting shut down at every corner? You can pull that up too. Like scientists who, like, look up, I guess, look up the opposite. I don't know what she's talking about. I think it's made up. Right? Instead of instead of looking for I mean, there probably is or are like, I don't know, one, two, three, ten, even a hundred scientists that say like, well, we have something that says the opposite. It's like, okay, uh, you can find doctors that believe in what's that called? Homeopathy. But homeopathy does not work. What well, you're wait searching a minute, for, looking why? for what you're not looking that's for. Not what I, I didn't search for it. That's what I found when I searched oh. it. Sorry. <laughs> so... I don't know if you caught that, but um, he did exactly what she said you should do, and that's what we ended up with. So let's skip ahead. Convince me that it was real. I personally but, don't believe it. That's okay. But why? It's, it's good to but, start but at a place of thing. not believing something. But, no, it's not. You think you should start with believing everything. No, it's not believe either or. Not believe yes, not believe no. Yeah. But don't say you don't believe. Yeah. I, Learn about it. Yeah. Learn about it and then have an opinion. But you're stating this opinion without having any real understanding of right. what climate well, science yeah, cause, cause is. It, but that's that's exactly what an opinion is. I'm not going, like I said, if if, if you said. I wish he kept doing this. On, on climate change, I would do all of that. I'm just not. I understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is that you're a very smart person, yeah. and people listen to you, and they're going to listen to you for a long time, But this I is what I hate. But this is, but but this this is, is what I hate. The, but hold because on. Then it's Let like, me finish Candace, what I'm saying. Because then it's like, you have to have a formed no, no, no. opinion on everything. No, no, no. You don't have to have a formed opinion yeah. on everything. What you do have to have 
is the ability to know when you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But I just about. said that. I said but that you to you the entire time. You said you I said don't this believe would, it. I, yeah, I but said you I don't, don't believe it. And then it. you asked me, and I said this wouldn't be the hill I chose to die but, on but because why, I don't. Right, I don't. But why even it. say you don't? So, if I'm being as charitable as possible, she might have a point where she's just saying, "Look, I just don't believe it. I'm not saying it's false, but I'm pretty sure that actually is what she's saying. It's not just that I." don't believe it i'm telling you that it's not true um and like to her point it's a little bit unfair that if she just if she just says i don't know and then because she's popular it makes all these people be like yeah and and say yeah it's fake and she could like you could argue that's not my fault and i'm allowed to say whatever i want to say and yeah but there's also nothing wrong with just pointing out you kind of look like a jackass when you go around saying things aren't true that you know nothing about. That was six years ago, and in all this time, I never really heard her say anything science-related. Um, but yeah, lately she's just been going crazy, and I, I can't find where a lot of these came from originally, so I have to pull on other people like react. Zero percent belief in the moon landing landings and What's I'll tell you I am at a zero percent belief in the moon landings in 1969 but of course the question that people always have two things first and foremost how could a lie this big pass well I've answered that for you several times the bigger they lie the more likely you are to believe it in fact on the, on the way in here what how does that make it the bigger the lie the more likely you are to believe it how does that make any sense like whatsoever that literally makes it less likely to be true so i have no idea i again she's just saying whatever the government says candace owens doesn't believe so i think in in her mind she's just confusing like government is this big entity with it's a big lie and i think she looks uh very condescendingly down at people that just take for granted what institutions tell us. Uh, that would be my guess, because none of that makes any sense, what she just said. Uh, I was having a huge debate with my team about dinosaurs. I was like, man, dinosaurs, it's, it's weird. Evolution, a giant meteor came, hits, and there were it's not suddenly all the dinosaurs all. were gone. Tell us that pretty much in third grade. They don't really pick it back up. And of course... It's not weird at all. It's not random at all. It's just a thing that happened for which there's an unthinkable amount of evidence for. Ah, uh, maybe she'll come out as a young earth creationist. That will be funny. People are like, what do you mean? Of course, dinosaurs at all. It's all very real. The historians say so. The geologists say so. The scientists say so. There are fossils that say so. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, every single thing you listed, those are the best reasons to believe anything. They were definitely roaming the earth. Didn't you see Jurassic Park? I even got the media treatment. I, there you go. I, she's just a sheep. Oh, those groups said it? Well, then Candace Owens doesn't believe it. Dinosaurs are real. There is a Christ conspiracy that's happening right now, which is the intention. Yeah, there you go. So <laughs> I've been saying this a lot lately, but, you know, the idea which is in the New Testament, I think it comes from Paul or whatever, which says anything that is against, th there's nothing that is not of God that is not from Satan. So what that does is nut jobs like Candace Owens and whoever else, everything they don't like, it's not just false, it's morally wrong. And it is against, it is, it is antagonistic toward the thing I have formed my entire identity around. I mean, talk about why do we have political divide in this country? Because people that, <laughs> people that, um, talk shit about like identity politics and things like that wrap their entire existence around being butthurt and upset and just disbelieving in basic factual truths like this idiot no removal of christ because they want people not to believe in god but instead to believe in humans that is what evolutionary theory was about i was just walking she she must be watching my Kent Hovind videos. It's like dinosaurs. That seems pretty fake and gay. There was no concept of a dinosaur until 1850. 
The only time I ever heard people say fake and gay, I'm pretty sure was between 2009 and 2011 on 9 gag. I I've never been a redditor and I've never been on 4chan or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure people said it um in those places too. But when I was in college, I was addicted to 9 gag. That was like the only random meme website that that I was ever on. 50, that's very recent. Within that same decade, they were like, dinosaur bones. And they started finding them everywhere. I'm like, okay, so nobody found this. And then like suddenly there's entire museums. Dino yeah, I mean, she's on her way to being a flat earther. I mean, theory of relativity, we really didn't even know about that until 1911 or 1909, whenever it was. I don't remember this one. What is this? Imagine being married to me. I mean, my poor husband, he rolls over. He's like, what are you reading? Feel like a regular wife says something, I don't know, maybe a love series, Nora Roberts, sweeping her away. Me, on the other hand, he rolled over, he asked me, and I said, oh, I'm reading a flat earth theory. Oh, no. <laughs> and it dawned into an entire conversation. He's like, why are, you, why are you reading a flat earth theory? And I'm like, because somebody messaged me on Manect about it, and they included some links, and I'm just reading them. I don't know, I'm just an interested person. I'm just asking questions. Person, no matter what, if there's a bunch of people that believe something, I now want to know what it is that they believe. And of course, he pushed me on this and he was talking about the earth curvature and science. And I said to him, listen, I, I'm, I'm not a flat earther. I'm not a round earther. Actually, what I am is I am somebody. Uh, you're a flat earther. And every single flat earther ever has, or well, how is it? I've never heard anybody say that that doesn't think the earth is flat. I've done a lot of really funny um, stitch videos on TikTok with people that start the conversation that way. And they always think the earth is flat. Who has left the cult of science. I have left the mega church of science because what I have now realized is that science, what it is actually, if you think about it, is a pagan faith. She's, she's, she's turning into the new Kent Hovind. This is, oh man, this is horrible, but it's kind of funny at the same time. I don't know what made her start being this way. I'm almost certain it's probably, um, due to COVID, I guess something she didn't like about it. Um, but <laughs> like, whatever, what did people say in response to this? I gotta know you are, yeah, the. Uh, Billy Madison clip or whatever. Translation, I'm a flat earther. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Global temperature variations. Okay, yeah. Um, she's a dodecahedron earther. <laughs> hey, it's Polly. Or, wait, that's his name, right? Polly? Yeah. Um, okay. Based. <laughs> the older I get, the more absurd the concept of dinosaurs roamed the earth until a great big meteor hit comes to me so not the more i researched it just the more the older i got and the more ignorant of the topic i became the more i didn't look into it at all the more i just thought hmm the more it started to make less sense to me all right the moon landing but do you uh, believe people landed on the moon well, well let's just back because that if you up don't, because you don't then i think that Again, that's that's something somebody who doesn't believe in it does. Well, well, hold on. Let's for now. Okay, y you don't, and you're there's a rational sort of like unconscious part of of all of our brains. They call this. I don't remember. There's like system one and system two thinking. Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky kind of popularized this notion there, there's part of your brain that's like really fast and automatic and then there's another part of your brain that's a lot lazier i don't know there's there's some good youtube content about this if you want to look into it but i think there's a rational part of our brains that is humiliated when our persona says stupid things and i see this all the time because i debate idiots that that say things that subconsciously they know are stupid and so they backtrack before they dig their heels in and that's exactly what you just saw there no, 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 no. i think that you really sets taking, a standard for this discussion you are taking something that was a twitter you can't answer it? joke i'm going to answer your question okay. but i'm just trying 
So remember, she said it's a joke. So I think you should add context because what you're doing now is you're jumping away from an actual meaningful discussion about climate change and the hoax that's surrounding it and making people fearful to have children. And you're all going, well, didn't you once tweet when I said, literally, I said in the tweet. So this is on November 6th. I don't know when she made the other moon comments like that, <clears throat> that clip we watched where she was like, I 100% don't believe it now. Maybe that was after this. Sounds like it probably was, but it let's have some fun today. What is one conspiracy theory that almost Actually, we're going to find out. All right, I found the actual episode where she says it and it was it's it's her own show cuz now she's been kicked out of the Daily Wire. Um and this was about a month ago. So I guess we can't say that she was lying. Uh, in the in the Bill Maher thing, or well, we can't say for sure that she's lying when she says like oh, I don't know, or I never actually said that, or I don't actually think that. I'm just asking questions. My friend Blitz did a scientific breakdown of how we know that we actually were on the moon based on the evidence and the footage. So check that out if you want to. Most got you, and that you think like like could possibly be be real. And I said the one that always gets me every time is the moon landing. How come we haven't gone back? We did go back multiple times. You're taking this one tweet where people then share. Other countries have not sent people to the moon, but have like, like India landed on the moon last year or whenever that was. Shared the things that they think that were not really serious or political on this long thread to now apply to a conversation about climate okay, change. Okay, but just to that be clear, little, like, people did land on the moon. I don't know. Okay, there we go. I don't know. I, I do know. I just want to know why we didn't go back. We did go back. What did we go back? What year? To the moon? We we people on the moon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was Apollo 11, 12, 13. I mean, they went to the moon. They went around it. Uh 14, 15, 16 and 17. Pretty sure it ended at 17. I'm asking now a serious question. Here? When when did we go when did we, we back to people landed, walking on the moon? 69, oh, okay. July 20th, 1969. Yeah. We went back like 10 more times. Who went back? Who walked no, not 10. In the moon. America. You know, the no, but like, what were the astronauts' names? Educate me. Why? This is actually really funny because nobody knows. The only one I can ever remember um, is Alan Shepard, who was the first American. I can't remember if Alan Shepard was the first American in space or if he was the first American to orbit the Earth. I think he was the first American in space. And then John Glenn was the first to orbit the Earth. But again, I don't remember. But. It is pretty sad that we don't know. <laughs> pretty much everybody knows two, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, and then nobody knows any of the others. But there have been 12 in total. Nobody's nobody's walked on the moon more than once, but there are a few people that flew to it more than once. Um, did Michael Collins get to walk on the moon in a later mission? I don't think he did. The 12 moon walkers, Armstrong, Aldrin, Pete Conrad, never heard of him. Alan Bean, never heard of him. Yep, there he is. Alan Shepard, Edgar Mitchell, David Scott, James Irwin, Young, Duke, Kernan, and Harrison Sch Oh, I've heard of Harrison Schmidt before. And these are our moon orbiters, huh? Um, so as you can see here, James Lovell, um, he went to the moon twice, Apollo 8 and Apollo 13. John Young went there twice. Eugene Kernan went there twice. And it looks like that's about it. Remembers what the astronauts' names were. The, 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 that's a big, it's a pretty big deal to walk on the moon. The first guy, and then after that, yes. Who then else walked on it? I How don't many? remember the name. It, like another dozen. Okay. Yeah. Are you, we, okay, another dozen humans walked on the moon? Yes, Americans, all Americans. Okay, we don't remember that. We name. kept going back. Uh, Apollo 13 was the one they made the movie about. That was the one they aborted. But that was after we had landed. Apollo 11, I think, was I'm the not one. talking about space missions. I'm talking about actual people walking yes, on the moon. Yes, landing on the moon and walking on it. First of all... Does she not know what... A, if you just say Apollo and then a number, I bet she doesn't even know what that means. It's... It, it, she's... So th this, this is the other thing. Not only is she, is she a sheep, she's... 
deeply ignorant and just forms opinions anyways. Is an impressive scientific feat. It's not out of the realm of like, how could that possibly happen? It's only 250,000 miles away. They had figured out enough to be able to do it, even with these shitty computers that they had in 1969. Um, yes, it's risky, and we did lose people doing it. Um, but we did do it. I mean... Apollo 1 blew, it didn't blow up, but there was a, a fire in the command module capsule thing, whatever, and yeah, they all died. Plainly. I mean, the idea that you could think that this was some sort of hoax, I, I'm sorry, but it colors everything else. I, I'm just saying that, like, say. I'm, I'm just not, like, you're... I, I that's a good point. It colors everything else you would say. It might not be fair because even the smartest people will believe in in something that just makes absolutely no sense. And like uh, Lynn Margulis, who she came up with endo this, the endosymbiosis theory hypothesis, whatever. And she just later went on to say that AIDS doesn't exist. And it's like, how can... You were married to Carl Sagan. You came up with endosymbiosis, and you're saying that? I feel like you're just trying to find this one. Like, I've never talked about this on my show. You're literally talking about one funny tweet it's thread. It's relevant. It's really it's not relevant that relevant. that you won't say, no, I absolutely, just... people walked on the moon. <laughs> I did When I was searching for that original clip, I did see some videos that were like two years old of her saying like she doesn't believe the moon landing. So <laughs> It's relevant. I, I've... I feel that you are finding an angle here to try to talk about something that I've never talked about on my podcast. I've well, never talked. Mm, yeah, now she's lying, though. People on, on a debate stage. But it's never out there. About it I on read a college. it. You, you probably had a producer dig up what you thought were there's the no most absurd tweets. Uh, uh, this, like, there's no way you, it's out Candace, like you're saying it's out there. There's not even articles about this. It's I so, it's so obscure that it's like, it's like literally, I, I mean, it said like, let's have some fun. What are Candace, some of the things that, I, I, what are some conspiracy it, okay. theories that you read that you have questions about? And I was like, the moon landing. First of all, I promise you, there is no production on this <laughs> okay, show. Well, no, no it's a, yeah, the, I don't know. I don't know how anybody could like stand watching or listening to this show. I like real time, although I have not watched it in many years. But uh, the, every clip I've ever seen from this club, pen, club random. Yeah, I almost called it Club Penguin. <laughs> Um, it's just so incredibly boring and dry and just not. It's a pretty niche thing. Of this all is, the things I talk about production. and I'm known for, like there wasn't even an article written about this about me. I wasn't planning to talk about yeah, it. So it's like, where, how did you, you get here? Because you, you saw it on Twitter? I got here, but somehow I knew it. But how? Because it's out there. But it's because not, I've it's not read even a, in my Wikipedia. Like it's like, it's so obscure. It's, what is she, what, what? What is this argument? There there haven't been any articles written about it. Like, she's just saying, me so important, no article about me, no big deal. I don't know if you'll actually be able to read this, but I'll just read it. She's so self-absorbed in her own narratives that she can't see the point Bill is trying to make. She got caught saying something stupid and is so self-righteous she can't admit what she did. Bingo. Candace doesn't deserve any more of anybody's time ever, so we're going to end it there. When she comes out as a flat earther or starts repeating some Kent Hovind talking points about evolution, then maybe. See you soon.